How's it going, Smashers? My name is Bonk, and in this video, we'll be continuing our tier list. This tier list is only one part of a number of changes being made to the Smash content on the website, and depending on when you're seeing this video, they could be up right now. So don't forget to check them out over at ProGuides.com. After the video, of course. In the last video, we took you through our picks for the S tier in Smash Ultimate. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the first half of the A tier. This is going to be the most populous tier on our tier list, so we've decided to split it up into two separate videos. This tier list will not be ordered, so we'll just go through the characters in roster order. Of course, it goes without saying that everything we're about to share with you is subject to change, and we cannot predict how the meta will look in a year or even in a couple of months. As more information is discovered about certain characters and as things are put into practice in tournament, these placements can and will shift, so keep the date in mind whenever you happen to be watching this. And if you haven't, make sure you check out our previous video. We promise it's bussin'. First up, we have Link. Link is a character you don't see too often nowadays, with many people opting to play Young Link instead. This could be attributed to a number of factors, from the fact that this is Young Link's first playable appearance since Smash Melee, to him just being an easier and more outwardly flashy character. That's not to say that Link is without his pros as well, and he possesses a number of strengths that very clearly make him a high-tier character. You may even be able to argue that he's better than Young Link, but it'll be an uphill battle until he gains some additional representation. Some things that make Link stand out are his generous hitboxes, his extremely safe neutral air, and receiving a 90% fall speed increase during fast falls, making him the only character besides Joker to have such a trait. He also has remote bombs, which manage to be exceptionally useful for controlling space when he has the advantage, as well as his boomerang, another useful zoning tool. His only representative to achieve major mainstream success is T from Japan. Salem was doing pretty well with Link early on, but has since dropped the character. Next on our list, we have Samus and Dark Samus. These two characters are very similar, so we've decided to group them together for the purpose of this list. There are plenty of differences between the two, but we'll save that for another video. There are two particular aspects of the game that Samus excels at, neutral and ledge trapping. At first glance, she may appear to be your typical projectile zoner, but there's one move that really lets her secure a spot as a Smash Ultimate high tier. Samus's neutral air is phenomenal and is easily one of the best in the game. This is largely due in part to its extremely generous hitboxes and being as safe as minus 5 on shield, but the effectiveness of this move is heavily exacerbated by Samus's movement stats. Her low gravity and base fall speed, in addition to a slightly above average fall speed increase on fast falls, gives her access to a wide range of timing mix-ups with her landing neutral air. On hit, her neutral air isn't particularly valuable on its own, but with Samus, stage control is incredibly valuable. Her bomb down special allows her to safely cover nearly every option at the ledge, and with a good setup, the bomb can easily combo into a charge shot, up tilt, or even just a neutral air or back air to put the opponent back off stage. Some notable Samus players to look out for include names like Quick, YB, and Joker. Moving on, we have Yoshi. Yoshi is a character that does a number of things exceptionally well. For one, he has the fastest airspeed in the game. This, combined with his minus 3 neutral air and generally quick frame data on his grounded normals, makes him an absolute monster in the neutral. Naturally, he's exceptional at edge guarding as well, and possesses a very explosive combo game thanks to his exceptional frame data and high damage per hit. And this is not to mention that he's also brain dead easy. A couple of Yoshi players you might want to pay attention to are players like Mei Mei, Ron, Raptor, and Suarez. Panther. Leon, let's go. Remember this, Fox. Star Wolf will take you down one day. Well, it looks like today is that day because we're placing Fox in A tier. As the Smash Ultimate meta has progressed, the best spacey debate largely seems to have died out, but we'll try to put it simply for you diehard Fox truthers out there. 
Fox has the worst recovery out of the species. His neutral is worse than Wolf's, owing to an extremely fast base fall speed and less generous hitboxes on his aerials, and unlike Wolf, Fox lacks a legitimately threatening projectile. That's not to say that Fox doesn't have any strengths to make him stand out. His high mobility and quick frame data on his normals enable him to create oppressive vortexes, and he's great at setting up tech chases, which regularly lead into kills. Fox is a relatively uncommon character, but some players worth keeping in mind include Light, Pyseri Man, and Louis Money. Next up on our list is Ness. Ness is a great character, and boasts an incredibly unique design. He possesses a very low gravity alongside a very high air acceleration, which allow him to fade in and out with extremely generous hitboxes on his high damage aerials. His PK Fire also acts as a useful zoning tool, and does a lot of damage on hit. Another thing Ness particularly excels at is his ability to consume crayons. Some Ness players you should definitely be aware of are Send and Gact. Next, we have Bowser. Bowser is a character that is notorious for taking zero brain cells to use. Between the extremely high damage per hit, the super armor in seemingly random places, and being the heaviest character in the game, it's pretty easy to see why. You see, when you're fat and win every trade, all of the pressure is on the opponent to not overextend and to have a clean, safe advantage. Once the opponent manages to pass the skill check, they still have to deal with the fact that Bowser is an actual character that can do things. For one, his ledge trapping is great, with a number of generous hitboxes, fire breath to two frame and force regrabs, and a very strong forward tilt which hits below the ledge. He also has a frame 6 command grab, which gives him a very strong landing mix-up when the opponent begins to shield his sword-like forward air. Bowser is surprisingly not a particularly common character at a top level, with his only largely successful representative being Leon. We may have foreshadowed this one earlier. The next character on our list is Young Link. Young Link has been a very popular character since the release of Smash Ultimate, and is easily the most popular Link at all levels of play. As we mentioned before, he tends to be the most outwardly flashy, with an extensive combo game that makes use of his quick frame data and fire arrows to deal absurd amounts of damage. He's not lacking in neutral either, and his bombs, boomerang, and fire arrows are all very useful zoning tools in neutral. His frame data and grounded mobility, in addition to his numerous zoning tools, make him very capable of playing with the advantage as well. Some Young Link representatives worth knowing about are Toast, Skittles, Suinoko, Biddy, and Colonies, just to name a handful. Our next character is Roy. Roy has been a very popular character since the game's release, although perhaps not as popular as he ought to be, with his shiny new Echo Fighter occupying a majority of the spotlight. There may be a couple of reasons for this. Let's start with the fact that Krom is probably just a better character. His lack of a sour spot makes his aerials better for air to airing, and his normals in general are better for ledge trapping because of it, as they enable him to space himself further away from the ledge, and he can threaten ledge hangs with things like jab, forward tilt, and down tilt, unlike Roy. Naturally, Roy has a number of things over Krom as well, and the two are realistically right next to each other on the tier list. For one, the sweet spot on his normals tend to be safer on shield. His sword's sweet spot being closer to his body may appear to counteract this by preventing him from spacing his moves from as far as Krom can, but it's really not enough to completely offset the several frames of additional safety. His jab has a higher knockback angle as well, and his bear is stronger, allowing his jab back air, his jer, confirmed to kill slightly earlier and work until slightly later percents. His Double Edge Dance side special also kills exceptionally early, and he can combo into it from various things, including Jab. Roy has a healthy amount of representatives at the top level, but some notable ones to keep in mind are players like Goblin, Cola, and TK3. Naturally, being Roy's Echo Fighter, Krom is a very similar character. His neutral is generally somewhat stronger, owing to his stronger air-to-air -air options and his ability to space his normals. His ledge trapping is also stronger, as he has safer and more valuable options to cover ledge hang and jump. Some notable Krom players include Rivers, Mr. R, and TK3. Next up on our list, we have Mr. Game and Watch. 
Mr. Game & Watch is not a particularly popular character for people to have as a main, but his matchup spread makes him quite attractive as a secondary. It's commonly believed that Mr. Game & Watch has a winning matchup against a plethora of notable top and high tiers, including characters like Snake, Peach and & Daisy, and even Pikachu. Mr. Game & Watch possesses a number of strengths which contribute to a very unique, defensive playstyle. For one, his up special is one of, if not the best out of shield option in the game, coming out as early as frame 3, having unnecessarily large hitboxes on both sides of Mr. Game & Watch, and comboing into his up air, allowing him to easily convert his frame 3 out of shield option into a clearly advantageous position. This, combined with his exceptional low percent grab game, makes touching Mr. Game & Watch's shield very dangerous for the opponent. His advantage is phenomenal as well, and his ledge trapping is especially noteworthy because of his neutral special, Chef, which is great at forcing the opponent to pick an option while on the ledge. He also has some of the best aerial mobility stats in the game, which, when combined with the large distance covered by his up special, enable him to go very deep off stage to edge guard. If you're looking for some games to watch, consider checking out players like Meister or Reggie Shikimi. The next character on our list is Wario. Wario excels at a couple of things. Firstly, he boasts an extremely explosive combo game, and it's not uncommon for Wario to deal upwards of 50, 60, even 70% out of a single successful exchange. He has plenty of moves that set up into these combos, including his very safe neutral air and up air, or even his down air, up tilt, and up throw. Once a certain amount of time has passed, he gains the ability to practically touch of death with combos into his Wario Waft. His disadvantage is also particularly forgiving, with his aerial mobility making him very evasive in landing situations, and his Wario Bike making it difficult for many characters to edgeguard him. Technically, this character has received a couple of nerfs, but they really didn't change anything. Don't let those pesky Wario mains fool you. Wario is a somewhat common character, and some names to look out for are Gluttony, Zachary, and Kameme. This is a character that you may not have expected, but we can explain. Diddy Kong? He's A tier. Diddy is fine and neutral, he has some solid landing mix with two very safe, valuable aerials in his neutral air and back air, and he certainly has a respectable combo game. But there's one thing that he excels at by a significant margin. Ledge trapping. He puts down the banana, mashes short hop back air, and every option is covered. Diddy Kong can also be very tricky to keep in disadvantage himself, as his unreactable monkey flip, in addition to his above-average grounded mobility, forces you to give him a bit more space than is usually desirable. Diddy Kong isn't a particularly popular character, but some players you might want to keep in mind are Tweak, Rivers, Aaron, and Twinkle. Well, that's all for this video. Do you agree with our picks for A tiers so far? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, Smashers. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you can be notified when we upload new videos. While you're here, consider giving the website a visit over at ProGuides.com as well, where you can have access to courses taught by pros, 24-7 live coaching, and loads of other content. And, of course, feel free to join the ProGuide Smash Community Discord server, where you can find matchmaking, get notified for community events, and more. That's all. See you guys in the next video.